Hi, my name is Cam Akinhead and I'm the illustrator from the adventures of the Bell Monsters. Welcome to my studio. This is the place where I had fun drawing all of the Bell Monsters that you'll find in the story. Today I'm going to show you how I drew Gyro. And after that, I'm going to show you how you can draw your very own Bell Monster. Did you know that each one of the Bell Monsters was created by somebody that lives in the city of Belmont? Gyro was created by Monique Simonette. Okay, let's learn how to draw Gyro. Now Gyro is a bit tricky, so you might want your pencils and erasers for this one, but we'll work it out. Now let's start with Gyro's body. Now Gyro's body is kind of a little bit like a pear crossed with a baked bean. It's a little bit skinny at the top and a little bit wider down the bottom. Something a little bit like this. There we go. And now we'll draw Gyro's legs, which are kind of like a kangaroo's legs. Now don't worry about where the lines cross over because we'll rub them out at the end. Next we'll draw Gyro's tail. Now Gyro's tail is kind of like a great big S shape. And it starts near the top of his head, comes down, joins his bottom there, like that. Next we'll draw Gyro's ears. Now Gyro's got some great big flappy ears and when I draw them, I think of the shape of the, le of the number three. Like that. And another one there. Now Gyro has some little stubby arms and they start about halfway up his body. There with four little round fingers. Maybe the other one can be waving at us over here. Okay, now we'll draw Gyro's eyes and his nose and his mouth. Now, I, now Gyro has got a big long Pinocchio kind of nose that sticks out in front of his body, like that. And then we've got a couple of little round eyes and a big smile. And of course, the last little thing on Gyro is a couple of little horns with some stripes on them. Now we'll go along and rub out those extra lines that we created down here and across where his nose came and there we go, Gyro! Now let's go and colour him in. Here we are over at the colouring in desk now, time to colour in Gyro. I'm starting off with the pink for his ears and pink for his stripy nose and next is stripy tail. His stripy tail starts with thicker stripes at the bottom and as you get towards the tip of his tail, they get a little bit thinner. Now I'm using coloured markers today. If you haven't got coloured markers, maybe you could try pencils or paints. Next I've moved on to a light blue for the rest of his body, going in between those tricky stripes. And then I'm going to fill in the rest of his body. Go outside the lines, that doesn't matter, just keep trying. Here's his little horns, now his tummy, around his arms, around his eyes. And then he's almost done. Gyro. Finished. Great. Now if you could make your very own bell monster, what would it look like? Would it have a big long nose, or big furry paws, or perhaps a really long spiky tail? What would make your bell monster different and special from all the others? Will it have a special name? And where will your bell monster live in the city of Belmont? Will it live in a park, or somewhere like the new Belmont hub where the library will be? We would love to see what your bell monster looks like. Ask Mum and Dad to go to the city's Belmont Connect platform, connect.belmont.wa.gov.au slash bellmonsters and find out about the Draw a Bell Monster competition. It's easy to enter and you could win the chance to have your Bell Monster drawn by me sometime in the future. You might even win the chance to have your Bell Monster appear in a brand new story about the adventures of the Bell Monsters. Well, it's time for me to say goodbye and for you to start drawing. I'll see you again soon when I return to show you how to draw another one of those cheeky bell monsters. Bye for now.